welcome to today's video. My name is Carolyn and today I have a pregnancy update for you guys. So as of today I am 13 weeks pregnant and according to the app that I use, The Bump, it says that the baby is as big as a lemon, which is about 2.9 inches and 0.81 ounces. So according to the app it says that the hands and fingers and toes are all developing and the fingernails and toenails are beginning to form as well. So that's exciting. It also says now the baby can move his or her arms and legs. Some babies begin thumb sucking as early as 13 weeks in the womb. So he can be in there sucking a full thumb now, which is also exciting. And the vocal cords are formed. So that's the update from the app. So last week I did the gestational diabetes test and I also had a doctor's appointment. So the gestational diabetes test, we went there, I got the drink. Mine was kind of similar to like Sprite, but it's like an uncarbonated, more syrupy Sprite, <laughs> uh, which was fine. It, it wasn't terrible. Towards the end of the drink, it was a little bit rough. Um, but I drank it all fine. So I passed my first gestational diabetes test and I know I'm gonna have to do it again once I get into the 20 something week mark. So hopefully I don't develop that between now and then. <laughs> um, but I was really excited that I passed that. According to my OBGYN, she said everything is looking good. She said that the baby is looking healthy. She said that everything is coming back great. And one thing that I was not actually expecting during that appointment was she actually got out the little machine and we were able to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time. I cried. <laughs> I, it was amazing. I mean, we got to hear the little heartbeat inside. So yeah, I cried. <laughs> so part of me was kind of concerned that I wasn't actually going to be able to hear the baby's heartbeat because I had read something that said when you're pregnant and plus size it makes things more difficult. Things like hearing the baby's heartbeat and things like that so I had kind of this fear or concern that I wasn't going to be able to experience those things but like I said in the past I don't really carry a lot of the weight on my stomach and I have also lost a lot of weight so I was just overwhelmed with like I guess relief that I could hear it that that was something that I could experience and then also just hearing the heartbeat. So yeah, I cried. Um, <laughs> it was a very beautiful moment. I do have another appointment tomorrow actually. Um, this one's gonna be with a specialist just to kind of verify that everything's okay and they're gonna do some additional kind of more closely monitored tests. And after that, I have another appointment next month for my next checkup. I'm just really excited and relieved that everything is going smoothly so far and that the baby's healthy and that I'm apparently healthy. <laughs> I did step on a scale this morning just because I was curious and I was actually really surprised that I haven't really gained that much weight. From what I've read, they said that it's normal to gain between one and five pounds in your first trimester. And I am just now getting into my second trimester. So I've only gained like four pounds. I'm not at all trying to worry about my weight right now. I'm not at all trying to lose weight or anything like that. I am trying to eat as healthy as I can, but I'm not doing the low carb keto stuff right now. I do still have some of the low carb keto friendly stuff. Like I still have like the low carb tortillas. I still have sugar free versions of stuff. Honestly, because where I transitioned into the keto, I can't handle regular sugar stuff now. Like I, I don't think it tastes good anymore. So anything that I have, like chocolate stuff like that is still the no sugar added stuff so still trying to be kind of healthy and mindful of what I'm putting in my body. I haven't had any like super duper strong weird cravings. As far as the pregnancy goes I count myself lucky that as far as like morning sickness and stuff like that I've had some nausea, some pretty intense nausea at times but I haven't actually thrown up. Let me knock on some wood right there. <laughs> I haven't thrown up, which I'm really, really thankful for. And I've had headaches, but overall, I think that my first trimester went pretty smooth. And I'm really thankful for that because I, I know of a lot of women that have really difficult first trimesters. So I'm thankful that my first trimester kind of didn't go too bad. <laughs> so I'm hoping that everything still stays healthy and everything still runs smoothly throughout the 
second and third trimester. So that is my update for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys again next Friday. Bye.